Hi, this is Teo from PuckerBlocks.com. For this week's sketchbook feature, I want to show you this book called Sketching Guantanamo. Let's take a look inside. Sketching Guantanamo is a sketchbook that features the court sketches of the military tribunals from 2006 to 2013. So that's like seven years of sketches in this book. The sketch artist is Janet Hamlin. She has been commissioned by Associated Press and CNN to cover the court cases in Guantanamo Bay over a period of years. So it's, um, it's a very difficult and challenging job. She talks about how she has to stay in those makeshift tents with other journalists because um, the hotels are not available to them. And she has to cover uh, the court trials over an extended period of time just to sketch all the cases, the trials that are going on. So it's a very detailed account and documentation of uh, her experience. She also tells us how she gets there. For example, how she took the plane and switched to the bus and then go to the court and also to her office, which is an airplane hangar. Now, while she is in court, she has to follow the procedures. This is one of the most mo notorious court cases in famous and it's very heavily censored so in many cases for these sketches before they can be released to the public they has to be they have to be cleared by um, an officer so you may see that there's this sticker here so the, the person in charge will have to sign it to clear this particular sketch so that it can be sent to other news agency for publication and since it's very heavily censored, many times the officer would want um, features to be blurred out, like faces of um, people, faces of police officers, agents, or jury, they will be blurred out. For example, take a look here. Uh, she, Jenna was not allowed to even draw the outline of the jury. So here it's being represented by numbers. And she cannot even use uh, draw silhouettes and in certain cases she has to smirch out the facial features of people you will notice that she drew all of this on tone paper uh, that's because it's easier and faster for her to add shadows and highlights she uses pastel because that's the fastest medium drawing in court is very challenging because the people move all a lot a lot and you don't know when the person is going to stand up and leave or so you have to use a quick medium and pastel seems to be her medium of choice because you can uh, erase easily and you can just change it very fast and if you want it you can smirch the detail very fast the book covers the trials of several key personnel for example Salim Hamda is the driver for Osama Bin Laden. Then they also have a Canadian that was captured when he was 15 and he grew into manhood while he was behind the barbed wires at Guantanamo Bay. This is an Al Qaeda cook. So they really have a lot of different people who are being held on trial there. These are some of the loose sketches outside of the courts and they are not colored, they are just very uh, loose uh, captures of the scenery outside. It's a really pretty interesting uh, sketchbook because it doesn't only talk about the trials but Janet also talks about her experience working in such an environment and it's really enlightening to uh, understand the harsh environment that is there. So this is the hangar where the office is. So those journalists and reporters, they will have to send their work back. That is Janet holding her art board, which is pretty huge. 
This is her makeshift tent that she has to stay in and that's the bed. This is the toilet. So all these uh, look like they are partitioned tents. Make sure you can just dismantle very easily. Some photos for the on the scenery outside. And that's it. This is an impressive piece of journalistic work. It's very difficult to draw people to get a likeness and it's even more challenging when you're doing so under pressure such as in the case of a drawing in a court case like this. This is one of US most notorious uh, infamous court cases and it's very heavily censored. So Janet Hamlin has done a terrific job to bring us behind the scenes. So if you want to learn more about the court cases to find out how it actually feels to be inside Listening to these trials, this is definitely the book to get. I will also give you a link to her website. I'll post the link in the video description below so you can check out some of her works as well as an interview, a video interview on her website. That's all for this week's sketchbook feature. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so because I feature sketching tips, techniques, sketchbook features, art product reviews and more. Thanks and have a nice day.